Okay, so new day, new test. I've been having a whole lot of fun testing Nanook hard cases for durability and waterproofness. And so thus far, I've taken a DJI Ronin M gimbal, put it in a Nanook case, and thrown it off a really tall pier. Following that, I took another case, threw a Mavic Pro drone in it, threw it into the ocean, and both those times, the cases rocked it. They kept my gear safe flawlessly. So today, I wanna test another case in a similar fashion. Today, I'm working with a mountain river. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? As always, I'm not trying to kill myself in these YouTube reviews. And so if you look real closely, you'll notice that the water is flowing pretty swiftly over there. So I'm not gonna go crazy. I'm not gonna chuck the case clear across the river. Instead, I'm gonna work with this eddy, this space where the water is moving slowly. Also, to put your guys' mind at ease, I'm no stranger to cold water. I grew up in a polar plunge club. My parents have, you know, taught me to stay calm in cold water. So that's not really gonna be an issue. Plus I'll be wearing a wetsuit. Basically I'm gonna do this as safely as possible so as not to get hurt. And if you try and replicate this experiment, please do the same. It's not worth losing your life over a stupid YouTube video. So please keep that in mind. All right, so now you know, this is what I'm working with. Let's hop to it. Okay, today I'm working with this Nanook case right over here. This case is the Nanook 923. It's specifically designed for laptops. Laptops from 13 to 15 inches. And like all good Nanook products, it's got a bunch of cool features. These latches are specifically designed to not be bumped open. So you have to press this, press that and pull up for the latch to unhinge. So if you accidentally bump it, this thing will stay shut. On these latches, you'll also see that they take keys. These are TSA approved security locks. So if you're traveling, you can keep your stuff safe. Inside the case, you see that there's lots of areas to organize your stuff. This top pocket has like a couple little pockets in it. It can fit notepads, potentially even a second computer. You got an area for pens, that kind of thing. In the case, there's another case. And this puppy is what houses your laptop. Let's give you a better view. So in here is the heart of the matter. Here's my 15 inch MacBook Pro. And as you can see, this thing works. Let's click on something. Boom. So this is my go-to computer. It's a few years old but I don't have a different one, so I really hope it'll stay safe in today's experiment. Boom, they got more pockets here. Below that compartment, you have more compartments. You got some side pockets that have ribs in them, so you can stick fragile gear into these sections and they will have extra protection. Maybe like, you know, an expensive mouse or a power strip. My power strip, however, does not fit in that pocket. So it lives in this pocket. On this side, you have another pouch. We got some headphones in there. The design of this case is very well thought out. And this tiny little sleeve, this protective sleeve, it's perfectly in here. That's at least two stages of protection. And then this entire thing closes and locks everything down in the vault. 
Now you know what case we're working with, what gear is inside. Let's go throw this thing in the river. I got my wetsuit on. This is a super warm wetsuit that's fleece lined. It'll keep me nice and toasty. I got my towel. The towel is to dry off the case when I pull it out of the water so as not to taint the sample. And then of course, I got the case itself. So I think I'm ready to go. Okay, real quickly, I'm gonna show you that this case is in fact full of my expensive gear. That's my laptop. It's my only laptop. I don't own another one. So hopefully, after it goes swimming, it will still work. Let's close that up real quick. From here on out, I'm not gonna make any cuts so that nobody can question the validity of this video. Nobody can say, ah, oh, Sergey cut it, his gear wasn't actually in it. So the experiment is simple. I'm gonna huck this case in the river, then I'm gonna go fetch it out, and then we'll see if my stuff is dry and it works. <sighs> okay, here we go. One, two, three. Ooh, that's not good. Ooh. Gotcha. Just for good measure. Let's bobble it up and down. Try to submerge it in the river. It is brisk. Damn, this shit is cold. That's good enough for me. Now, as you saw, my left hand is not that good at throwing. And this case ended up hitting a log, which I really hope not to do. So hopefully that didn't damage anything inside the case, but we shall see. Okay. on a tripod and adjust it so that everybody can see. Okay, first things first, let's wipe down the case because we don't want any external water to taint the experiment. We don't want my wet hands to put water on the inside of the case because that won't be fair to the case. Now we're gonna do a thorough job because water is very pesky. All right, here we go. Ooh, look. I see a tiny bit of water, but nothing big. This very well could have occurred 
during the opening of the case. You know, overall, the case looks pretty darn good. Look. Okay, let's look inside. Look. A little bit of dust because Sergey is a pig, but there's no water anywhere else in this case. Okay, moment of truth. Let's see if the computer works. Computer seems to be intact. Everything is dry and everything works. There you have it folks. So despite the fact that I threw this in the river, despite the fact that it accidentally hit a log, which I completely wasn't intending, this case did its job. My gear is safe. I can work remotely in places that I can river raft to. And that I think is an awesome thing. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to see more examples, more tests of Nanook cases, I'll link to them in the description below. And remember to subscribe to my channel, Butenko Films, for more videos that are just like this, but totally different.